Hi, I'm Butch Mazza from Sand Hollow Homestead in uh, Idaho. And uh, although we got snow on the mountains and all around us, down here in the valley, it's, uh, it's at least it's in the 40s. And uh, trees are uh, budding and uh, grass is up. And, yeah, that means mowing. But uh, as you can see, I uh, got some rotor tilling done. It's uh, last year uh, I didn't have a garden, and this year I uh, probably won't have a garden either. So what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, keep the weeds down and uh, work on my berries, my fruit trees, and my lawn, and uh, oh, for, uh, for a little bit uh, we're going to jump into fifth wheel and go for a little drive and uh, just to get away and uh, spend a little time uh, away from home. It's a little too cold to be going into the mountains. Uh, there's probably where I go fishing up on the upper lakes about uh, uh, 7,500 foot level. It's uh, probably about 10 foot of snow and it will be until sometime in June. So, I'm going to play in the dirt. And uh, I've got a little more rotor tilling to do. And then uh, I'll turn around and uh, uh, just keep an eye on it. And I'll more than likely rotor till it, well, every once in a while until, uh, until this fall. Now, I've got a lot of manure to put on there, rabbit manure. And I've got some chicken manure that I'm going to be spreading out there and rotor tilling in, try to build up that soil a little bit. This year I uh, plan on, uh, I'll probably go to town, see if I can find some folks that have uh, their leaves in bags this, this fall. And uh, I'll uh, bring those leaves out here and see if I can't get those spread on the garden as well. And if I can cover that garden real good, that'll help hold the weeds. Uh, as well and then uh, next year when I rotor till it in uh, I'll have some good good loose soil and I I don't uh, I know that there's folks that do the no-till gardening and I'm not gonna say they're wrong and uh, I'm not gonna say I'm right but I've been doing this a long time you know I'm in my 60s and, and I just do fine when I'm rotor tilling and uh, you know, I uh, there have been times when I uh, in the desert uh, where I dug holes and put in my manure and my compost, and I watered only those holes. And uh, all the area around those holes uh, were left, you know, untilled or undug. And then I uh, I, I never watered anything but those holes. And I had some good plants, and it worked out just fine. And I, I've seen where uh, that was, uh, I've learned back in the 60s that that was the way the French did it in their hard caliche. They didn't uh, break up all the soil. They, they only uh, planted the plants in the holes that they dug and fertilized. You'll notice I have a fence over there. Maybe you can't see it, but it's that uh, panel, that square panel. And uh, I've got that vertical panel and that's where I put my climbing squash and it's uh, it's not it's not necessarily summer squash most of the summer squash will uh, uh, stay on the ground and uh, but there are some you know any any uh, plants like cucumbers and uh, banana squash and, and uh, things that'll climb and tomatoes can do it too uh, I'll put on those fences and uh, have a vertical garden and instead of having 10 feet, 15 feet of garden that's all plants, even pumpkins will take up a tremendous amount of garden. But if you put it on one of those panels, it goes up that 8 foot panel and it goes down the other side because those are 16 foot panels and if you cut them in half, you can put them up as 8, eight foot. And uh, you put your plants on there 
you just train them. You bring that plant up, and when it's kind of leaning, you kind of help it. Once it gets long enough, you help wrap it. Eventually, it's going to take off. It's strong enough that it'll go up and over. And I've had them actually go up six foot fence and down, and then go out 15 feet from that fence. It was getting that much moisture and uh, fertilizer that it just decided to keep going. I probably should, should have cut it off. Maybe I'd have got a little better yield and uh, should have controlled it a little better. I hope this wind isn't too bad, and if it is, I apologize. I'll check it later. But the sun's behind a cloud right now, and uh, yeah, it gets a little chilly. You know how it is. Uh, but uh, gardens started at least uh, uh, in a way that I can uh, bust up those clumps and I can uh, get those weeds uh, roots turned. And uh, oh, in a few weeks I'll be back out here rototilling again. So uh, this is Butch of Sand Hollow. And I just wanted to share that part with you, and uh, I'll be showing you some of the other projects I have uh, this year, 2018. So I'll talk with you later. And there's lots of food in the pantry, so we'll see you at supper time.